It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears. All that and more coming up next. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here are the commanders making their way out and bringing them out. The former Tar Heel, second-year pro, Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records, and at one point, was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. How so complete to Dotson. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. What a start here to the ball game. You get the good kick return, followed by a quick first down through the air. If this defense isn't careful, they might be looking at a deficit before they know what hit them. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Second and 10. And how will throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now how? Thomas has got it. Complain. It'll go as a gain of four. Third and seven now. 
Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Hal throwing on third down here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Try to power it in with Arma, and he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Alex Arma taking it in from two yards out. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 four, four speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Four, four? Everybody wants to be that fast. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. They'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kinnett. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Fields to connect there for a Chicago first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back to throw, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, a run with Herbert. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Holding 
Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Fields now to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Will go down as a gain of six. And third and eight now. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and eight. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down. Fields. And it is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 27-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If he gets strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's Fields. Touchdown! Cole Kamala, 28 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from evening this one up. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And a lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now a second and ten. Here's Hal. shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Back deep, Trent Taylor. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
This will be fielded at the 17. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bears take over. Here comes Justin Fields and the rest of the Bears offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a round, too. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slipped on him in the pocket. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strength at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. There's Moody with another catch. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 42 now, here's second and two. Again, Fields. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 48. Santos' kick is up and through, and they take the lead here now at 10 to seven. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bears were given a solid first half by their quarterback, Justin Fields. 
He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. seven to score as we resume action on EA Sports. This take it in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check isn't it but also They've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now it's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. They get 11 back up. Now it leads to third down. The coach is always hard by the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, get your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They'll run with Herbert. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Now it's Crowder. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Back to throw. Howell. And Thomas has it. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's only able to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Robinson will try to pick it up. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. Give him two on the play there. Good for a commander's first down. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. 
Back to Robinson now on first down. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It'll be a gain of five on the play, and it'll also be the final play of this third quarter. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. A potential field goal if you're thinking about that. Almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Now he'll look to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Pal to the air on first and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Now they go play action with Hal. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Another throw for Howell. And he couldn't square up to throw there, and it falls incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing here, Howell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Now, and it's caught. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Sly able to put this one through. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. Yet now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Now meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds
winds up falling incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. All eyes on fields. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Fields going to keep it running right. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Crowder now to return. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. Here's second and a yard. Here's Howell. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Robinson up the middle to the 36-yard line. Stop there. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Here's a second and seven. Robinson with another carry. At this stage, you've got to hustle. got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Robinson on a give right side. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. This game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. They'll spot it at the 40. It's a 50-yard kick for the win. And he got it. He split.
Hits the uprights from 50 yards out. And they will be all smiles in Georgetown tonight as Washington has won it. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more.